So if Mormonism is the restoration of the gospel, why are there so many changes so quickly in Mormonism? They say there's no blood atonement, there's no Adam God stuff, there's no polygamy, uh, you know, Negroes are okay now. Because how, you know, ignorant Mr. Evans here is. And so Joseph F. Smith is going to give him a real tune-up. I've already made this video before, but I've got so much, you know, meaty stuff in here that I've just got to share it. And I'm not going to show you the whole book, but it's always on eBay. And you can buy this 1905 edition for 15 bucks or so delivered. And then you can get back to your basic fundamental Mormonism. I mean, even Whitmer here in 87, he's having to correct all these changes that Joseph and Brigham brought in. But anyhow, we're going to focus here on uh, the tune-up that Smith is going to give Evans. And we're going to see the blood atonement and Adam God and some real remarks that anti-Mormons are often crediting to uh, Brigham. is going to use them here to knock the crap out of Evans. We often see comments typed in on YouTube by Mormons saying we don't like being called Mormons, but here Smith tunes up Evans and shows him that the term Mormon is a term of appellation. A lot of folks, including Evans, want to blame Brigham for polygamy, but again, Smith, knowing all, tunes him right up and takes him, takes him back into the 1840s. Here's a little sidebar. This Evans intimates that uh, Brigham might have had something to do with Joe's death, and I wouldn't argue with that, and Dunham, too, who didn't respond to Joe's demand that he get his ass over to Carthage and get him out of there. He ignored it. Anyhow, we got to move on. Now here's some Adam God. Evans, like most of us, is stunned by it. Smith, being right on all matters Mormon, tunes him up. And here's Blood Atonement, the meat of the matter. And here's some wonderful quotes. I'll just read one from February of 57. All mankind loves themselves, and let these principles be known by an individual, and he would be glad to have his blood shed. That would be loving themselves to an eternal exaltation. Now, this same exaltation, of course, is what helped motivate uh, John D. Lee. Will you love your neighbor and sisters likewise when they have committed a sin that cannot be atoned for without the shedding of blood? That's what Jesus meant. Now, we're on page 28, and it's too complicated to go into, but you just read this stuff and, and see how Joseph Smith proves that polygamy was being practiced in the early 1840s, and actually it was earlier than that. 